Hi, this is Chris from The Inquirer, and uh, we're going to take a quick look at the HTC Flyer, which earlier this week uh, has been updated uh, to Android version 3.2 Honeycomb. Uh, previously, it was uh, running Android 2.3 Gingerbread. Um, so it's not actually the latest version of Android, which is currently um, 4.0 Ice Cream Sandwich, but it is nevertheless an upgrade. So uh, if we have a quick look here, you can see it's running Android version 3.2.1 and uh, the HTC Sense version, which is their um, Android overlay, is version 1.1, especially for tablets. Um, so if we go to the home screen, you can see everything looks uh, quite different to, to what it did before. The tablet has actually got hardware buttons uh, down the bottom here and again when you tip it uh, uh, down the bottom here, these have been de deactivated now because Honeycomb uses on-screen buttons uh, that you can see at the bottom there. Um, the only button that remains active is the button for the stylus, which uh, as you can see there still works fine. Um, so now we've got the Honeycomb interface. Um, I've actually lost the app tray that was uh, uh, present on the tablet before um, and you enter the apps menu from the button at the top there and you've got the back, the home, and the multitasking button there. Uh, there's no drop-down menu anymore um, because Honeycomb has it, it has it all down here in the bottom corner. So you've got all your settings and your clock. You can adjust the brightness and the Wi-Fi, and and all of all of the notifications come up the bottom uh, there as well. Um, so you still got the normal home screens uh, like before. It, it's typical. Android uh, interface um, but one major change that's happened since the upgrade is that the stylus can now be used um, to navigate the tablet so um, previously you could only use it to to draw take notes and, and do things like that but now I can now use the stylus um, to swipe around the screens I don't actually need to swipe I, I can just tap tap the side um, to move between them um, I can open I can open an app such as the browser, so we can go to the Inquirer website and I can use the stylus to to scroll down the page, which is uh, one of the things that we weren't so happy about when the tablet first came out was the fact that we couldn't use the uh, the stylus to push buttons, which felt so intuitive. But now you can do that, so it makes the tablet a lot better. And because you've got um, a small tip of the pen, you can do much more accurate. Um, clicks on the page, um, you know, if something's quite small, often your finger ex obscures it quite a lot. So it's quite nice to be able to use the pen to click on things uh, more accurately. Um, there's no new apps uh, in the menu. Uh, it does it does look slightly different. You've still got the tabs down the bottom that's splitting them up uh, between all your tabs, your frequent tabs, and your downloaded tabs. Um, and one of the best things with Honeycomb is this multitasking um, window where you can see all of your open apps uh, so you can flick between them uh, nice and easy. So uh, currently there's no word from HTC as to whether the tablet will be upgraded to Ice Cream Sandwich. Uh, it is possible but uh, so far they've only named a few other devices that will get the latest version of Android.